Greetings, fellow test subjects. Test subject 1337 here for Aperture Game. They make it. We test it. You play it. Now, normally this is Aperture Game Reviews, but today this is just a good old Aperture Review. Why? Because Aperture Industries has teamed up with Stark Industries to provide you a product review of the Pulse Portal Gauntlet. The Pulse Repulsor Gauntlet. Oh, oh, it's majesty. And the cool thing is, is how this comes with your stu two standard portal of blue and orange. Yes, so standard three switch action located here. Now, as Aperture and Stark Industries have both been very busy as of late, we had to actually outsource this project to Etsy. So that's right, everyone. This is an Etsy product review brought to you by Aperture Reviews. Uh, this uh, this uh, gauntlet comes to us from the good fine people at Bionic Concepts. The product weighs between somewhere between five to nine pounds, give or take, and it is a uh, three. And 3D printed with uh, some metal parts here and there, and a whole lot of electronics. Yes, uh, three toggle switch, uh, LED of blue and orange, and it takes four AA batteries. Now, it is advised that you use standard AA batteries. Do not, I repeat, do not use lithium batteries. Yeah, so I had wanted this for a convention, so. I had been saving up for this for a while because I knew it was going to cost a little bit and it would take time to make. And I was right on both accounts. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this thing is, it is great. I absolutely love it. So yeah, five to, somewhere between five and nine pounds, give or take. So make sure you're in good upper body strength because my shoulder was a little sore walking around two days with this thing on. So yeah, I definitely need to get back to the gym. <laughs> anyway, um... So, like the undercarriage here, this part is adjustable for your arm for getting in and out. And there's a piece of Velcro, there's two pieces of Velcro on the inside. One for your forearm to hold it in place and one for the batteries. So, the battery thing, I was having trouble figuring out how to get the batteries in there. But the ba battery case comes out, it's sticking in there with the Velcro so you can easily insert and remove the AA batteries. Like I said, no lithium. So if you so here's what, I'm obviously going to be showing on the screen at some point the site on Etsy and uh, the specific page where to get this. Now you're going to you're going to look at this and you're going to see the price tag. And you're going to be like, holy smokes, that is expensive. Well, it kind of is. Uh, so here's what I did speak with the uh, creator of this product, and they said that they actually had to take a couple hundred bucks off the price because they wanted to make this so people would actually buy it, not be afraid of it. So you do get what you pay for with this, but you actually kind of get. Uh, Bit of a bonus by not paying the as much as it would be normally charged yeah so it's a little bit of a yeah so it does take time it does take money so this was not an impulse buy this was something i've been keep, keeping my eye on for a good while not to mention by icon concepts seems to have a bunch of other cool items in their shop so give them a look around so i'm overall i'm very satisfied with how uh, the product turned out i just only had uh, i have i just have to discuss an issue with you when I first received the product, I tried it out. The orange light was working good, but the blue light was, it would stay on, but then I'd move and it would flicker or turn off. So this was very disconcerting because I, like I said, I saw how much I spent on this thing. I was like, oh no, this thing is malfunctioning already. So I contacted the uh, creator and they told me, so here's what, we did some tests and we figured out that there must have been a faulty wire from the base of the gauntlet to the glove. Now, so then we figured that out. So then the bad news was I had to send this back and I needed this back for the convention. So here's what happened. I paid all this money for this, but then I returned it. I got, it cost about 60 bucks to ship. So I got that money back. And for me to get it back in time for the convention, I had to return part of my return, 30 bucks to get it back before the convention. So interesting money tennis going on there. Now, ordinarily the Ordinarily, the shop owner responds within 24 hours, but seeing as how this was a bit of an emergency, we were in constant communication, so they did a better job. So if you get something and there's an issue, normally they, 
normally they, they respond within 24 hours, but I was lucky enough that they were able to speak with me more directly back and forth, and two, and two phone calls. All right. Yeah, I wasn't happy with it, but fortunately the wiring turned out. They said they always, that uh, whenever they start making these, they get better and better at making them. So, of course, I was just the one in a million fluke. So, while I'm not happy with uh, having to send it back and then wait more to get it again, overall, I am happy with how it turned out. The product worked great, I had fun at the convention, and, of course, I love how it has the two-switch function between orange, stop, and then blue. Yeah, I... Very happy with how this turned out. It has a little weight on it, but like I said, I need to get back to the gym. And I would recommend, if you do have uh, money, to definitely go check out their shop again. They, they do seem to have an interesting lineup of items. I do have my eyes on them. Now, uh, okay, let's see. Another thing is how, with the, the price, even though it's very expensive, you don't get like a lifetime warranty. So you have to be very careful. Like. The lights may go out at some point, but uh, yeah, they don't want to spend their whole life just working on this one product and then having to repair it every time something goes funny. So please treat it with care and like don't try to burn out the lights within the first 24 hours. Also, if you do get any scuffs or marks on there, they recommend there's like a black or white uh, Sharpie or pen. there's like a certain pen. I, I have it in my chat photos I've saved to take care of any scuffs or marks on here to make sure it constantly looks good and new. And here's the thing, This another reason why this is so expensive, this is not like a cookie cutter product. When you order this, they ask for like the dimensions of your hand, and like for the size and the length and circumference of your forearm. So this is a product that is built and made custom to you. So overall, I'm very happy with how this turned out. A few bumps here and there, but the end result is I'm satisfied with the product and I intend to be using it from now on in future reviews. Bit of an intro slash outro to the other reviews. So yeah, Bionic Concepts, I give the Portal Repulsor Gauntlet a solid thumbs up, five stars, 10 out of 10. I highly recommend it. All right, well, I thank you very much for tuning into this review. Till next time, this has been Test Subject 1337 for Aperture Reviews. Until next time, thank you for watching. Check out the Etsy shop and thank I hope this review helps you with uh, your decision on purchasing this product. Thank you and have a nice day.